All right, Victor here, uh, RestoringMercedes.com. Real quick, uh, this is the differential that I got from SLK 23099, 3.27 aspect ratio, I mean the, the gear ratio. Uh, the only thing is it does not have the ABS sensor opening. So right now I just need that car to get out of there because it's like blocking my waves it's just like whatever so what i did is obviously i changed the output shafts i cleaned them up they were like all black so i thought that they're painted but apparently they were just covered with oil but this differential is probably going to come out anyway because i'm going to take it all apart i'm going to change the bearings and um i'm going to change all the seals and i'm going to put all these gears into the differential case that came from uh 190e that has the opening for the ABS sensors. I do want ABS sensor. I also have a problem with the input yoke, the um, flange. I just uh, made the picture, so if I buy a used one or whatever, so at least I have a reference for the openings because uh, SLK 230 flange is larger. So yeah, that's it's just not going to fit over the flex discs that is off the drive shaft so that's 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 the problem so this is the original one but it's all it was messed up in previous videos you see that uh, uh, the metal was fused uh, so whatever no that's to be replaced i just put it in uh, just real quick just to to have it and um yeah without even the cover for the bearing like the shield see the shield not the bearing shield the uh, the seal shield if you will so whatever because i'm gonna deal with it later um i just need the car out of there so out of that spot i'm going to put a bead of silicone i'm gonna use the Renzo seal this one right here very thin bead because i'm gonna break this bead off but other than that this differential seems to be okay all the teeth are nice and um, you know spins nice with nice pretension and whatever so i don't have no problems with that Ugh. well i guess i can't show you the the input shaft spinning uh, whatever so yeah so these are the old uh, output shaft uh, flanges from slk 230 i just marked them so i'll leave them in the back here whatever let them be just like i did with the original this is the original differential and the case of course so anyway so that's the updates right now i'm gonna keep moving because it's getting dark and i want to get it done by tonight it's not going to be a big big job to put this thing back in probably an hour or so because all the openings i re-threaded you know i cleaned the threads on all of these um the bolts are more or less okay so you know everything else so i'm just saying so this is going to be all for now and um next one will be when this car moves i gotta get it out of the spot it's really bad for my work it's taking space and thank god that this socket came today so i can actually do it I'm going to use the bolts from SLK, same size as the axle bolts uh, from axles themselves. So I'm going to use those versus these. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So that's the uh, the quick one. Okay. So differentials in place, and uh, it's not extremely tight. I did not tighten it up a lot. Right, so just uh, more or less hand tight. The drain plug is tight, this piece right here, and uh, axles, everything is in place. Everything is tied up. And now I'm going to fill it up, and I'm not going to put the, uh, the shaft for the uh, drive shaft. Yeah, the bearing, drive shaft uh, support bearing was uh tightened up but not the the actual strap so i'll leave it alone i don't care for that because uh, excuse me the phone fell down because you know 
I'm on the car laying down on my side. So anyway, so yeah, I don't care for that for now because this is going to get removed anyway once I get the rest of the parts because I still have to get exhaust done and all the other things. But long story short, I just need this car to be out of here.